Rick TV, we back in the building, back with another video, man. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Jay-Z came out and said, can't nobody stand on stage with him in the verses. And, um, you know, Jay-Z is Jay-Z, man. God MC, Jay-Z's that guy, man. Let's not get it twisted. Ain't too many people can stand on that stage. Um, my The point I'm making this video is I feel like a lot of people is getting mentioned, but my dog 50 ain't getting mentioned. And it's just like, I don't understand why. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I'm a, I'm not one of these guys who don't know music. I'm a music head. I know music, trust me. So, you know, if you're feeling if you feeling like I'm saying something that that's that that don't hold no weight, feel free to leave a comment. We could debate about it. We could do whatever. But listen, man, 50 can get on that stage with Jay-Z. Let's not act like 50 not diamond. Let's not act like 50 don't got commercial mainstream bangers. And let's not act like he don't got the underground joints. We all we all know the underground is the underground joints. He's the underground king. You know what I mean? So why his name getting left off the list? Everybody, yo, oh, only people that can stand on stage with him is Drake. Oh, uh, uh, Wayne, Kanye, cool, salute to them. They, they salute. But come on, man, fifty diamond, and fifty diamond, like all this streaming shit. Like yo, come on, man. Could you imagine if fifty came out when it was streaming? Like, 50 went diamond when you had to drive to the store or walk to the store and, and spend $18. He went diamond. So let's not act like, oh, well, Drake went diamond or whatever, whatever, Kanye diamond, whatever they did in the streaming era, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Kanye caught the, you know, the still the CD era going into the streaming and Drake, you know, came in on the streaming era. But it's different, man. You know what I'm saying? It's different, yo. I, do you think Drake can get, you know, that many people to walk in the store and buy his shit? I'm a casual Drake fan. I don't, when he rap, okay, cool, I can fuck with. But all the other shit, like, I'm, I'm probably not the type to walk in the store and buy a Drake joint. I'll listen to it when I hear it, you know what I'm saying? Give me a full rap album and, you know, we can do that. But 50 can stand on the stage with Jay-Z. That's the whole point I'm making this video. It's crazy that y'all leaving my man out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I listen to the Joe Budden podcast a lot, right? And a lot of the times they be like, yo, it's always somebody that in the in the verses that that OG's the other person, or big brother's the other person, or son's the other person, right? What rapper can son 50? Hit me in my comments and tell me what rapper will get on that stage and son 50, like how we seen in some previous verses. You can't do it. The songs is too big and Nobody will probably even be that comfortable doing it because they don't even know what reaction they may get trying to punk him or trying to belittle him or get slick with him. That alone makes the verses look different. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying like every single rap in the world is scared of 50 or whatever, whatever. But we see 50. We know how 50 is. We know how we give it up. So that alone will make shit look different. If you standing next to 50 in the verses and you not, you not, you know what I mean, in your songs like you're supposed to be because you acting timid or you acting like, you know what I mean, and you ain't really performing your shit, he going to be 50. He ain't, he not going to be, he not going to perform or do whatever he doing with his joints. That shit going to look different. Them songs going to hit different. If you get up there and you shying around and shit, them shit's going to hit different. I'm trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you 2003 50 fans. You know what I'm saying? If you just heard of 50 Cent 2003, like 50 been my favorite rapper since 1999. Get Rich or Die Trying came out in 2003. Do the math on that. You know what I mean? Since 98 going into 99, he's been my favorite rapper. My favorite by far. Get Rich came out in 2003. All right, so I'm not that ty I'm not that fan that just heard uh in the club and I'm like, oh my god, this guy's good. No, you understand? Do the math. Go listen to what was coming out in '99. You know I mean? So come on, man. He got the mainstream hits. He's the underground king. Let's put some respect on my man's name, man. Fifty Cent can easily stand in that ring with Jay Z. I think it's talking about future and this person, that person. All right, cool, man. But Fifty shit gonna hit different, man. 50 shit gonna hit different, man. I don't understand how even future get thrown in the in the in the name get thrown in the hat. But 50 don't 50 name don't get thrown in the hat to go against Jay-Z. When 50 came out and changed the game. Like he changed the whole landscape of music, man. 
That's crazy, man. But, yeah, man. Rick TV, 50 Cent vs. Jay-Z in the verses, man. That's the one I would want to see. Straight up. I want to see that. Because I know, standing on stage with 50, it's a different ball game, man. But uh, hit me up in the comments, man. Subscribe, like, do all that. Hit me up in the comments. Let's debate about it, man. It's Rick TV.